Elected officials around the country are imploring, even requiring people to stay at home or avoid gatherings of 10 or more people to slow the spread of the coronavirus. But the federal government has only closed one of the nation's 68 immigration courts. These courtrooms are tight quarters. They're, they don't have windows, they don't have any ventilation. And um, usually you're sitting in there with between 50 and 100 people. In an unprecedented show of solidarity, ICE prosecutors, immigration judges and immigration lawyers are urging the Trump administration to close all courts to protect the health and safety of the staff and the public that we serve. Fanny Bayar Ostro speaks on behalf of ICE prosecutors. Your employer is telling you that you have to go into work business as usual and at the same time you are learning through the media that this virus is spreading like wildfire and and that the possibility of being exposed by being in a courtroom full of people is at large. These individuals, especially in our metro areas, uh, use public transportation. They cram into escalators and cram into elevators and to waiting rooms and the risk of contamination at this point is just too high. In a joint statement published Sunday, judges, along with ICE and immigration attorneys, acknowledged that closing the courts will impose significant hardship for the government, asylum seekers and detained immigrants. But they also endorsed the use of telework and video conferencing to continue the court's most pressing cases. The Department of Justice, which oversees immigration courts, tells Newsy it continues to evaluate the information available from public health officials to inform the decisions regarding the operational status of each immigration court. A few hours after Sunday's unified statement, the DOJ announced it's postponing mass hearings for non-detained immigrants, but it said all other hearings are still happening in person except for the Seattle Immigration Court, which has closed. For those required to show up to court every day, that's a small victory. So that's a small step in the right direction, but it's just not near enough. It's really not necessary for the courts to, to remain open and expose everyone to this health hazard.